How's it going guys? So I just want to talk about the whole internal memory and SD card. So you know in Marshmallow you can format your SD card as internal memory, thus giving you the ability to put your apps on a memory card. I've just read some articles and it just it doesn't make it sound as good as it, as good as it is, but it's actually pretty awesome. So as you can see, in my SD card I have about 12.77 gigabytes used. So if we click that, 4.58 of that are apps. Now before there was no way you could get that many that much space from apps on your memory card. So we'll click that. Usually before this you could put only parts of it. So as you can see some of, some of my games here are all on the SD card. The first we most wanted 2 gigabytes is right here. Uh, Fast Rush Legacy 629 megabytes champion 614 Leo's Fortune. So all those apps are fully on my memory card. Before that, like I said, only part of it could go on here. So this is actually pretty awesome. Now one thing, I just, it doesn't really, I'm not really sure how it decides which apps can go on the memory card or, you know, because even though they're, you know, it says 31 out of 90, for the most part, the phone still likes to put things in internal memory. So at one point, I believe I went here and I hit the option button and I was able to kind of like migrate the data so it took what it could from my internal memory and put it on the SD card. Even though they're together now, if the internal memory gets filled, once you try to download apps, it'll tell you that you can't download that, can't download any apps because you don't have enough space. Because at one point I was at like 23 out of 24 gigabytes and it wouldn't let me install any more apps. But when I did that option, it, um, it let me move what I could from the internal memory to the memory card. So it moved some of the apps. It moved all my pictures because I had pictures here as well. So if I hit migrate data here, it would actually take things. So let's say you're getting ready to, let's say you want to take out your SD card. You don't, you want to use it for something else. You would do this. You would migrate the data. You would move everything from the SD card back to the memory, back to the internal memory, and then you could take the SD card out. So I did the opposite. Uh, what I did realize too is the fact that even when I was done, there were still some apps on my internal memory. So what you can actually do with this is. Let's say I want to get rid of more stuff in the internal memory. I would just, let's say Rayman for instance. I would go to it, I would hit change, and it says it'll only take a couple of minutes. It'll move that game to the SD card. So I, there's no limitations as far as I can see, and this is great. I love this feature. This is definitely like the top feature in Android Marshmallow. And from now on when phones get it, you know, I think this just brought SD cards back to life. SD cards were dying and this just brought them back and I love it so far. Oh, the last thing I would say is don't cheap out and get like the cheapest memory card. Pay attention to like the read and write speed. So try to get something around like 80 megabytes per second or higher if you can. You still get very good prices on those. Maybe like an older model with a really good read and white speed so try to avoid the ones that are like in the 40s and the 50s because the slower the memory card is the slower um, your apps will open the they'll have a hard time to you know work as fluid as they should so that's all I had to say on that one a very very great feature um, phone's been working great on marshmallow and that feature right there hands down is the the most important one for me otherwise that's it guys. If you have any questions, just let me know. And I always get asked this. This widget is Zooper by Beard 3 on the Play Store. The icon pack that I'm using is um, Glim Dark. That's G-L-I-M Dark. And that's where the wallpaper is from as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one.